Leonard was a great mathematician and physicist who applied his expertise in the fields of astronomy, optics, and mechanical engineering. He also introduced some of the familiar notation that we still use today in mathematics, and he expanded the reach in the infinitesimal calculus. At the age of 13, he enrolled into the University of Basel and received a degree there with the Master of Arts. And at the same time, he was receiving Saturday afternoon lessons from a guy named Johann Bernoulli. And how he came to know Bernoulli, Leonard's dad, Paul, and Johann was actually close friends. So that's how that came into play. And during these uh, lessons, Johann actually started to discover the talent that uh, Leonard had for mathematics and told him that he was to become a great mathematician one day. And uh, hearing this from a teacher is the greatest thing that can ever happen to somebody, to a student. So I thought it was very neat. Well, uh, yes, he ended up getting a job. In uh, November 17, 26, he was offered a job in at the Imperial Academy of Science in Russia. And uh, he was going to be the department chair in physiology. And it was due to this because Johann's son, Nicholas II, died, which was the department chair of mathematics. And his other son, Daniel, took that job. So uh, Daniel called up uh, Leonard and said, hey, I got a job for you. You be department chair in physiology, my old job. How do you like that? Leonard said, hey, man, I'll take it. But he couldn't actually go there because there were some uh, issues taking place during that time era at the academy. So his trip was delayed. But uh, that really didn't stop him any. He said, well, while I'm waiting, I'll go to these uh, lecture classes on medicine. You know, I'll be prepared right when I get there. And at the same time, he tried applying for a physics professorship at the University of Basel. But that didn't go too well. He, he got declined. So he had a lot of things going uh, through this time. Well, actually, he did end up meeting a girl, and he also married her. Her name was uh, Katharina Giselle. They married on January the 7th, 1734. And she was a painter of one of the, uh, a daughter, excuse me, of one of the painters from the academy. So that's how they knew each other. And they ended up having uh, 13 children together. So I kind of found it was uh, mind-blowing. Uh, uh, yes, actually, it was in uh, 1735 um, at the academy had proposed a problem and won a solution from the members for it. And Euler, he tackled this problem with uh, all the reserve of his energy and skills to solve this problem. And he managed doing it. But due to, to the exertion, it left him so fatigued that he developed uh, a fever and lost his eyesight in his right eye. So he lost all visibility in that eye. Yes, he was still able to work, but uh, later on in the year 1776, he developed a cataract in his left eye. So that made him completely blind for a few weeks. And at this time, he was uh, preparing to write a book called The Elements of Algebra. Well, uh, he had one of his servants, a tailor apprentice, who had no formal uh, mathematical training to help him write the book. He told him word for word what to put down in his books because the notes that he had, he remembered every single thing that he had down there, the calculations, the, uh, the graphs, the notations, everything. That was one of his uh, uh, main skills. He had that photographic memory and uh, awesome mathematical calculation skills that he can do with his head. And he ended up publishing the book. It was, it was a, a success. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And no problem, anytime. Whenever you need me. Alright, see you.